Everyone, welcome to Barbados, welcome to the Reebok Caribbean workout, and welcome to a circuit training workout. Good morning, Jose. Good morning, David. Shelly. Good morning, David. How you doing? Good, thanks. Okay, we're going to do some circuit training, so if you have some weights at home or a couple of water bottles you can use, keep them handy because we'll use them throughout the workout, and we'll be doing some athletic type movements mimicking common sports, right? A good solid strong workout. Let's march it out. We'll just take a breath up, take your arms up, inhale up. Big exhale. Let's do that one more time. Really stretch those arms all the way up to the ceiling. And exhale out. Good, all right. We're gonna march four more. Then we'll slowly open the leg to the side. Slowly open, bring it in over here. Good, and gradually start to increase the amount of bend at the knee here. Keep the chest up down and up great we're going to strengthen that upper body burn some calories and again right down use those hands on the thighs for support keeping that chest up good job let's do four more of these and three and two last one march on the spot Great, now we're gonna step forward and back, starting with the right foot. The feet come together as you step forward and back. Feet together, that's it. Feet together, bring that other foot forward. Okay, now go right down and up, down and up. That's it, bend those knees, stand up tall. Put again, bend and lift. Great, last time, let's change and lead with the left foot. Left foot, down and up, down and up. Good. Just warming up those muscles in the legs because they do take a lot of a lot of the work, a lot of the workload when we do aerobics. Four more and three and two. Okay, march it out. Right, left, right, left. Now take your feet wide apart. We're going to go into a bending motion here. Down and up, down and up. Make sure the feet are wider than shoulder width. Very often people keep their feet too narrow, so make sure yours are nice and wide and push through that toe. Push each time. Good, so you can warm up into the ankles. Now we'll start to turn the body slightly. Turn, now notice the opposite heel lifts as we want those shoulders and hips and knees and toes to all turn together. Are you ready? A little punch here. Punch, punch. Great, we'll do a little boxing later. <laughs> Boxing? A little boxing. We're going to be doing some boxing, some karate kicks. Love Stay it. with this movement. Listen up. Here's today's lifestyle tip. Brought to you by Movado, makers of the incomparable Movado Museum Watch. Train, train every other day to produce sufficient muscle recovery time between workouts. If this is not possible, try exercising every third day and it will produce the same results. Good. Continuing with this punch. Right out. Eight. Seven, six, all right, four more. Now punch that arm overhead. Hup. Great, so I hope you realize that if you're involved in other sports, that working out with us here on the Reebok Caribbean Workout can help your, not only help your performance, because you'll be more fit and you'll be stronger in those sports, but also helps reduce the risk of injury, and that's key, right? Yep. All these strengthening exercises, that stronger. also help like, for the coordination and stuff like that? Coordination. You can take the strength you gain here and apply it to your activity. Because I know hockey over. players that are doing aerobics just for... Hockey players, sure. More lots of sports teams are getting into Boxers it Boxers also. Boxers for sure. Last four. For footwork. Three. And two. <laughs> Bring your feet in. Two. All right. Last four. It's four. Three. Now bring your feet together and press. Here we go, four and three, just sitting back. Two more. Now just take one leg back, press the heel down. From here, just go ahead and tilt the pelvis, drop down slightly. Little hip flexor stretch. Bring that foot in, take the other leg back. Lots of sports teams are getting involved in step training, slide, slide Reebok, step yeah. Reebok, tilt the pelvis, drop down slightly. Aerobic exercise, even the RCMP, RCMP yeah, in Montreal, really? I know. Yeah, go ahead and take it up and march it out. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Four, eight, and seven. 
good. Four more. Now we're gonna go back to the squat side to side, all right? So you're gonna go open together. Here we go. Now let's make this movement a little bit bigger. And up. Continue with this move. We're coming right back. Doing a good job. Keep it up. We'll be right back with more circuit training. Welcome back to Barbados, where, much like in Britain, <laughs> the police don't wear guns, right? No guns on the policemen because very hospitable. The people here are very hospitable and friendly. One, two, three, down. One, two, three. March it out. No matter where we go, everyone says hello, how you doing, right? Yes. On the beautiful island of Barbados. Okay, now we're gonna move into a little boxer size, box aerobics, boxerama, the boxmeister. And just take the feet apart a little bit. One foot forward, one foot back. I'll move up here, we're just gonna shift the weight now. Forward and back, forward and back. A little bit of bounce movement here. Are you ready? <laughs> this arm punches first. Here we go. Just punch out. Punch out. Right from the ribs. Nice and strong. Try to get that punch happening from your upper back. Really push. Push. And through the chest as well. Press. Are you ready? Change to the back arm. Here we go. Punch. 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 All right. Rather than punching out from the elbow, really punch from that rib cage and the upper back. All right. Looks good. Four more. Let's alternate the arms. You're ready? It gets tricky here. One, two. <laughs> and again, punch it out. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. March it out. Right, left. Oh. Wow. Ah, I got a little aggression out that way. <laughs> That's right. And of course, regular exercise is a great way to get rid of aggression, right? Of course. Or stress, or if you're mad or angry, a good, strong aerobic workout, or strength training workout. Endorphins helping you? The endorphins? No. Are they a rock group? Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> well, How I do think you say that? What's wrong with endorphins? Endorphins. Oh. Oh. C'est bon, c'est très bon, José, okay. Thanks, David. Here we go. <laughs> the other foot's front. Here we go, he's gonna bug Eight, my English again. C'est très bon, José. Let me do the French version. You can make fun of me. Endorphin. No, you're doing great. Here we go. Just shift the weight forward, 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 Endorphin. forward. Are you ready? We're gonna punch. Here we go. Hoop, hoop. Nice and strong. Really punch it out with the chest here. Push, push. Put something into it here. Who are you mad at? <laughs> Who? Who? Okay, change to the back arm. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Back arm is hardest. Are you ready? We're gonna alternate. Here we go. Help. Help. Good. A little bit of bounce in the legs. Nice and strong. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. March it out. Right, left. Good work. <laughs> this stuff is not easy. <laughs> How are you doing at home? A little variety of styles, right? Yes. All right, march it out. Four, eight, seven, six, five. Next, we're gonna take it to a step touch. Here we go, step to the side. Step together, step touch, step touch. Good. Stay with a step touch. Here's today's nutrition tip. Listen up. Brought to you by Kraft. Good food and good food ideas. A healthy diet includes six to 11 servings of whole grain breads, cereals, and other grain products. One serving would be one slice of bread or one half cup of cooked cereal, rice, or pasta. All right, let's pick up those weights now and do some work for the upper back. So we're gonna stand in a lunge position, front leg front, back leg, pull this away from the set and back. Lift the arms up and out to the side, up and out, squeeze the shoulder blades, and then down, good. Now a nice long lunge position is going to help you lean forward safely with the upper body and not put that spine at risk, all right? So you wanna maintain a long spine, abdominals are contracted, you to squeeze the shoulder blades together, and down, and again, squeeze it, and down. How you doing, Jose? Good. Feel that upper back working. Really? Yeah, open up the chest, and again, it's up, up, 
and down. Exhale as you lift. Inhale back down. Let's do two more. One more time. Excellent. Okay, put those weights down. Keep the chest up as you do. And here we go. March. Four. Three. Take it to a step touch. Take it out. Okay, now you're going to cross the foot behind you. Cross back. Cross back. And our next boxing type, type movement is going to be a hook. You're going to hook around, around, around. Hook it. Hook. Hook. Nice and strong. Those arms. Okay, let's see a stop right there. Imagine there's a punching bag right in front of you. Hey, hey, run again. Lots of effort in that punch. Reach that arm back. And again, good. All right, now we set up our hook movement. So you at home, keep going with this. We're coming right back with more circuit training. Keep it up, doing a great job. Or aggressive, <laughs> stress busting, <laughs> boxing, sports yeah. move, circuit training, workout. <laughs> okay, just relax the arms. These punches really get into your upper body, eh? Yeah, they do. All right, just relax the arms down. Let's get into some more strength exercise for the upper body. So go ahead and grab your weights. We'll do some work for the shoulders. And actually, it also works into the back of the arms. Take your feet a little wider than shoulder width, actually quite a bit wider. And we'll just bend the legs down and up. Now take the weights up just right in front of the shoulder. Now next time you come up, do an overhead press. So push up, turn the palms in. Take it down, up and in. Notice we're moving nice and slow, right? We recruit more muscle fibers, it's more difficult, less momentum, more work for the muscles and safer for the joints this way as well, right? We avoid jamming the joints. A lot of times you'll see people in the gym going really quickly with their exercises and you can lift more weight that way so you can, can kind of look like you're really strong. And they're but, also using momentum, right? But they're using momentum rather than having the muscles do the work. So you can take a lighter weight. If you ever travel, a lot of times I travel, and I go to gym, some, maybe some smaller gyms that don't have, the weights aren't as heavy as I'm used to, I'll just slow down the exercise and you can get just as much out of the exercise, add a few, few more repetitions, and it's good because your muscles are working a little differently than they normally do, and that's what you want to do, is have your muscles work against an unaccustomed amount of resistance. Nobody's counting. Up here. One more. My shoulders are feeling it. Hope yeah, yours are. Sure. Okay, let's put those weights down. And we're gonna march it out. Here we go. What's next? Kicks. The kicks. The kicks. A few karate kicks or whatever we call them. Okay, just take one foot front, one foot back. Good. Four more. We'll do it slow at first. So it looks like this. Kick, back. Kick, back. Kick, back. Kick, back. Good. Four more. Three more, then we're gonna pick up the pace. Two, one, you ready? Here we go. Kick, 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 kick. Hoop, hoop, hoop. Pun again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. March it out, right, left. Abdominals have to be really tight. Yeah, you gotta huh? tighten up those abs. Yeah. Control the arms. Looks good, okay, let's just take the other leg front. <laughs> The right leg front, the left leg back. Let's do it slow. You ready? Yeah, ready. Up and back. Up and back. So that opposite arm comes front with a punch. Four more. As you pick up the pace, control it. Are you ready? Here we go. Kick it. Hoop. 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 Take it out into a little soccer game here. Kick. Kick. Hoop. Kick. Kick. Four more. Three, two, march, right, left. Oh, good work. All right, let's do some work for the triceps, okay? Back of the arms, pick up your weights again. Good, stand up nice and tall, take those weights up. Elbows slightly forward, drop them back behind the head, keep the elbows close to the head, and extend. Continue with this tricep exercise. Here's today's intensity check. 
Brought to you by JVC. Technically perfect, perfectly simple. How do you feel at this point in the workout? Ideally, your intensity level should fall between 3 and 7 on the perceived exertion scale. You should be breathing deeply, but not gasping for air. And again down. Notice when I'm standing here, nice neutral posture. Now the knees are extended. In other words, my legs are straight, but they're not locked. A lot of times we talk about keeping the knees slightly bent. You don't have to stand in this position. You do want to keep your legs extended, but you just don't want to jam the joint straight. Down and up. Great job. Relax the grip with the hands, working the back of the arms. It's down and it's up. Let's do two more. One more time for the triceps, the back of the arm. Good job. Put those weights down. Keep the chest up. All right, marching. Now we're going to march three and kick. It goes one, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. And just move back slightly. Again, four, three, two. Okay, let's just start to turn the body slightly. Turn the body. Kick, turn the body. Kick, turn the body. So it's more of a side kick. Oh, one, two, three. It's a little three. bit like a funk. Sort of. We'll use this later in funk too. <laughs> But this time, I want you to be real strong. One, two, three, hoop. One arm punches, hoop. One arm punches, hoop. Imagine that uh, bag right there. Push, punching bag, kicking bag. That's it, take it up. Hey, hey, hoop. All right, time to cool it down. Let's take it a little lower. A little lower with that toe. Here's your move. Keep going with this nice, easy move. Cool it down, because we're coming right back to conclude our circuit training workout. Stay with us, doing a good job. Keep it up. As we continue with our workout here, now we're going to finish up the upper body with the work for the lats, those wings here, biceps. What else? Chest? Some chest? <laughs> Maybe some abdominals, so you can... Lucky. Yeah, we're going to punch each other in the abs. That's going to be our workout. <laughs> All right, so grab your mat or a pillow, and we'll start. Uh, Shelly's going to do the lat exercise, the rowing exercise standing. Jose and I will do it kneeling. Okay, so just one foot in front, the other knee on something that's padded. And if you can, you can, you can want to put a pillow here or something, or you can just lie right over. And we're going to row up for two and down. And again, we're trying to work against gravity. Even though we're working with weights, we need to place our body in a position where we're working against gravity. That's the most effective way to challenge the lats and the muscles of the back. A lot of times you'll see people doing this maybe standing straight up, just taking their elbows back. And it's not as effective at challenging the muscles of the mid-back, right? right. You, you comfortable in this position, you'll say? Actually, I think I, I uh, prefer standing up. Like prefer standing, standing up. Yeah. yeah, it really depends on the person. Um, I'm quite comfortable leaning on my yeah. knee like this. As I mentioned, you could have a pillow there right yeah. on your knee. That and would that be might more make it a little bit more comfortable. Me. Just lifting those elbows right up, squeeze and down. And you might, if you have more weight at home, you could maybe hold both weights. Uh, sorry, uh, yeah, two weights in each hand. Yeah because your muscles, you have quite a few muscles through your back working in this exercise, and you're quite strong in this, in this particular position, as opposed to just a bicep exercise. Okay, one more time, up. Okay, from here, just lift your body up, stand up straight, we'll do biceps from the same position. Here we go, just curling up for two, and down. And again, just curl up, squeeze in the front of the arm. Now we wanna turn the palms up, and then turn the palms back in. Turn the palms up, and turn the palms back in. Great, it's up. Now we have a nice cushioned surface for our knee, and you might want to do that as well. Just put a couple of towels down. Okay, some people are not comfortable kneeling, and that's, that's fine, you can do it as Shelly is now. Curling up, and down, good. Really focus on creating your own contraction in the muscle as well. Notice how when Jose and Shelly are curling up here, they really squeeze and Really try to make a big, tight, strong bicep. Crying. <laughs> it's huge. Look at that thing. Okay, working in front of the arm. And down. Let's do two more of these. And what's next? Push-ups. 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 
Great. Okay, the order of your exercise, okay, let's go into some push-ups. We'll also determine the intensity. We did lats first, which flex the arm, the biceps are involved, and right into biceps, it makes it more difficult. So the sequence of your exercises will determine the intensity. Here we go, push-ups, down. Now take those hands wider than shoulder width. The wider your hands go, the more it will go into your chest, to a certain extent, of course. You can only go so wide. And the closer together your hands are, the more it will work into the back of your arms. Okay, it'll here. be harder, right? Pardon me? If you, bring, if you bring your hands close together, it's a little bit it's harder. It's harder, actually. Yeah, it is harder because, obviously, your triceps, the back of your arm, that muscle Weaker. is smaller than your chest. And, the, you know, when you do a push-up with your hands wider, you have your chest working, the front of your shoulder, the back of your arm. All right, and then when you bring your hands closer, it sort of just narrows it into more just triceps. And again, so if we were to go right into a tricep exercise after this, it would be very challenging as well. Right? But we won't, right? Right on. Here we go. Two more. <laughs> Exhale up. One more time. Excellent, Jose. <laughs> okay, let's just go into a hip flexor stretch. Take your foot front, knee above your ankle, and no matter what sport you're involved in, this is an important stretch to what do. What are you laughing at? You guys okay? <laughs> you two are doing great. Knee above your ankle, okay, and once you get in position, try to lift up and just press your hip down, Shelly. <laughs> okay, and you want to feel the stretch here in this hip. Important to stretch your hip flexors. It means, no, it doesn't mean much to most people, but... It is important. It's important. Other leg in front. And I just want to explain why for a second. These muscles actually pull your hip forward. That's what they do. They flex your body at the hip. And if they're tight, what it does is it, it pulls your, your pelvis this way and gives you a nice big arch in your back and you get an excessive lordosis, especially if you have weak abdominals. A lot of pressure on your low back it may cause low back pain. So keep that in mind. All right? Stretch your hip flexors. Strengthen your abdominals. Thanks for joining us today for our uh, boxing, circuit training, fun workout. Take care. Until next time, bye-bye. Tomorrow. -bye.